Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can create and manage smart lists in Go High Level so that you can filter through your contacts fast and find out who are the good contacts, who are the bad contacts, and take action on them. I'm Johnny the Nomad, and I'm gonna show you how you can unleash the power of high level within your business so that you can work less and live more. So check this out. So once you're in high level, what you wanna do is you wanna click on the tab contacts and it'll automatically open up the smart list. The first organic smart list that we're in is just the all smart list where we can see all of our contacts that are in our CRM. And as you can see, I went through the effort of installing and creating and finding the emails of all of the Game of Thrones characters. So if you love Game of Thrones, you might recognize some of the names here. And I'm just kidding, I didn't create these contacts, ChatGPT did. So to create our first own custom smart list, we wanna hover over to more filters and we wanna filter out and create a smart list of what we wanna filter out. What I wanna start with is with tags. And you can see this is a very long tab, Very, you can scroll very far down but we're gonna, like I said, start with tags and we're gonna say the tag is, but we've also got other options like it's not, is empty, is not empty, any of, but we're gonna say tag is, and let's see, we've got adventurers, dragon, fears. So again, this is based on the TV show Game of Thrones and I miss it and that's why I created it. And so we're gonna go under adventurous. So we're gonna say tag is adventurous. And once we hit apply down here, we're gonna find everybody in Game of Thrones, who apparently is adventurous according to Game of Thrones. And you can see this is still here. We could save this as a smart list, but we can also just hit X and that way it's not deleted. We can still see one filter is applied because there's this one over here. And we find out that Arya Stark apparently is the only one who in Game of Thrones is adventurous, but she's also got other tags. Um, like Game of Thrones and Brave. Okay, we could again save this as a smart list, but let's go to more filters. I want a few more contacts than just one. So let's say we could filter it down, but you can't filter more down than one. Um, so let's say and, so the tag is either adventurous or, and let's add another tag and say adventurous. I think Brave is very similar to adventurous. So let's say the tag is either adventurous or Brave. So once we hit that and we hit apply, now we've got three contract uh, three contracts. We've got Theon, Jamie, and Arya. And now again, we could just X out of this, or we could go back to more filters and actually save our first smart list. And once we do this, we can go ahead and just call it adventurous and brave. After giving it a name, we can go ahead and hit save, and that'll save the smart list. Now you can see we've basically kind of got two smart lists up here. Our first own custom win, which is adventurous and brave with these three contacts, Theon, Jamie, and Arya, or the all uh, smart list. Again, the tab is always just smart list. And this is a total of 15 contacts. And so this is, again, how you can take the high level CRM, customize it for your needs, and quickly and fast just filter out what you wanna see and what you don't wanna see. Next, let's go ahead and create another smart list really fast. We'll just hit more filters and again, um, I recommend scrolling through these, but you could filter by region and say, hey, I only want to hit up people or contacts that live in the US or in Europe or in any other country or region, I guess. Um, you could say, hey, I only want contacts that were updated a month ago or a year ago, whatever you want. So really your mind and how you leverage this is your limit. So there's unlimited possibilities of how you want to combine these options options with each other, especially if again, you consider all these different filters within just one of these tabs. Um, so within campaign, we could say, hey, this campaign is paused, is inactive, is has it finished, it's, it's paused in a campaign. So many, many different options. I wanted to scroll to the bottom. I think campaigns and to filter by that could be very smart. Age or in pipeline stage, what are, what are the open opportunities? What are the lost opportunities? That would be more like pipeline status. Maybe you wanna know which offers or products um, or the most predominant and you just want to filter that out real fast in your um, CRM or maybe you run some Facebook ads and you want to filter by that. So again, check out all these different filters that you can apply. But right now, we're just going to do another tag and instead of doing is, we're going to do the opposite. So we're just going to say is not and we do want to know who is not honest. I want to know who is not honest and we'll hit apply and we can see that quite a few are not honest. So we'll go ahead and save this as smart list 
and we're going to call it liars. These are all the liars. Let's hit save. And now you can see we've got the all tab with a total of 15 records. We've got the liars with a total of 14 records. So almost everybody's a liar in Game of Thrones, apparently. Again, I didn't create this. ChatGPT did. And then we've got the adventurous and brave tab with Theon, Jamie, and Arya. I really like Arya, by the way. I know that's important. And so now that we've got these smart lists created, we could take action on them. We could select all of these brave ones and adventurous ones, and we could do a pipeline change. We could add them to a campaign workflow where we can trigger SMS and email campaigns. We could send them a one-off SMS, one-off email. We could add tags and be like, okay, yeah, they've already got tags, but you get it. We could remove tags. We could delete them. So this is, again, where you filter out and then you take action. So... Again, go through these. We could export them, import them, do all that good stuff. But again, this video is about smart lists. So what I want to show at the end is how to manage the smart lists over here. And you can see we've got um, our two main smart lists, Liars and Adventurous and Brave. And we could reorganize them so that they reorganize up here. We could go ahead and duplicate or copy this smart list. We could share this smart list in case you have multiple employees. Um, or contractors in your sub account and you don't want everybody to have access to all smart lists, you could share them with people in your account or we could obviously go ahead and delete them. And last but definitely not least, we'll go back into one of these smart lists just by selecting this and we will apply new columns. So all of these are columns and we can apply any and add any new columns into a smart list that we want and save it for that specific smart list. So let's say for adventurous and brave, we need to know which country they come from. We need to know where, what their postal code is. Um, and then we need to know their birthday, definitely their birthday. So now you can see these columns were added, postal code, birth date, and country. And so we could sort them. Again, these fields are empty because that's data for me, but we could sort them by that data. And we've added again, these columns. So. There's definitely better examples for these columns, but it's very cool to save them again in a very specific smart list in case you want to compare different data with each other. So now if we click on liars, um, high level will ask us like, hey, you've made changes to the columns. Are you sure you want to save this? And we could not save it or I want to say yes, I want to save it because now we can go to all, see all my contacts. I can go to liars, see all my liars with the same layout, but then I go to adventurous and brave. And now I can see these columns have saved. And every time I want to access this, this, this data with these columns, it's very fast and easy. So that's, again, the big picture of smart lists. How do I filter out data and make it fast and actionable? And my life is easier with the help of high level. If you want to learn other tricks on how to make your life easier and work faster and better and make more money with the help of high level, then go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.